Welcome to the Everything Action Cast, the official podcast of EverythingAction.com. Hello and welcome to the Everything Action Cast, the podcast for the week of April 1st, 2024. I'm your host, Zach. I'm your co-host, Chris. And yeah, this week we are grabbing our uh, grabbing a two by four and smashing some casinos up because we uh, are talking about the 2004 uh, Walking Tall, which celebrated its uh, 20th anniversary this week. Came out April 2nd, 2004. Uh, one of the early movies starring Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Uh, I, I think it was his third movie overall in like a starring role, and a remake of the 1973 cult classic movie that so starred Jonah Baker. All of it inspired by real life vigilante sheriff Buford Pusser, who uh, like a, who lived a very strange and tragic life. Yes, he he was, he was a wrestler. He was a marine. He then he became sheriff of like this like county in Tennessee, and then basically like went on like a one man war against like the mafia, and yep. then like had like not like was it nine assassination attempts on him or something. Something like that. And it, it's like, um, yeah, like, he is not talked about a lot. He was like a regional folk hero in his area. And yeah. I think um, by the time the first Walking Tall movie came out, that's where people were like, have you heard about this guy that did this? And they, and they, really, they really latched on to, like, he went, he had, like, a bunch of, like, um, like, hickory clubs that he would, like, or they like beat people down where they're like used for like his like you know policing. Like, because I think the original Joanna Baker movie that was like a, like a, a big thing was like, oh man, he's he's getting these guys, he's got his clubs, he's going around beating people with clubs. And then yeah, I don't I don't know if that's better or worse for certain situations. Yeah, and then the, this uh, the rock version also includes that, although I think to a much lesser extent than the uh, the Joanna Baker movie from nineteen seventy three. And I'll, and also changed his name because I I, I believe there was something like this might be might be just like I don't know if I've read this before or like it's just like <laughs> if it's true or not but like I think there was something where like the Rock was like I don't, I'm not I'm not calling my character Bu- I'm not playing a guy named Buford Pusser <laughs> so they, so they renamed his character to Chris Vaughn yeah you know what it is maybe it was that uh, maybe it was they really didn't want. Um to confuse people with the original walking tall movie. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, still, I mean, it's a remake of their, they call it, they were going to, was, they were calling it a remake of the original, although the, yeah, yeah. the reversion, but, and same sort of plot or like idea. Yeah, same idea. Plot is, it varies. Um, yeah. Especially with like the love interest part. Mm hmm. But yeah, so but yeah, the rock. So the rock is Chris Vaughn, who is a uh, spe- army special forces. Like I, I guess that means I must mean he's like an army ranger or something. I guess, and he he's, he's a trained guy. Yeah, badass military guy. He's been away from home for eight years, and he's, he comes home, and his dream is to work in the like cedar mill that his dad worked in. But then he f- comes home, and he finds like the the mill is closed, and. Now the entire town is like kind of funded by this sleazy casino run by his rich douchebag f- f- high school friend Jay Hamilton, who's played by one of the best, uh, like villain character actors, Neil McDonough, who's always like if you need like a smarmy, like douchey villain guy, like Neil McDonough is always like <laughs> he always brings it if, if, if for like. For being in that role, like even and if he's like he's always good, even if the movie's terrible, like uh, like Ch- like let's show Chun Li when he played Ed Bison, like yeah, he's probably the only part good part about that movie. Yeah, except you ignore the fact that he is somehow Ed Bison. He also kind of like he like, he, like carried like long stretches of the Arrowverse as like Damien Dark. <laughs> It's also it actually, it actually like walking out the walk, the 2004 walking out it has two like kind of like like go to villain actors because like uh, Kevin Durand is also like he's like the like like uh, you know like sadistic like uh, has security booth who's like <laughs> like fucks up the rock early on in the movie. Yeah, he's the, I I'm surprised that 
he got like the the that like henchman dude in the beginning and then he's never in the final fight it's just he's in it for the beginning and then that's it mm. he just sort of just takes a back seat to everything he becomes like a bumbling goon yeah it is it's kind of odd because like he yeah he like early on he's like very like like you know sadistic and calculating and it's like oh this guy is gonna be trouble and then but then yeah he gets like like halfway through it's just like oh yeah he's just like they like they arrested him and he's like now he's just like a bumbling like joke now <laughs> like they're like they're like make, making like tons of jokes at his expense and uh like i think what's also missing about this movie is that there's no big bad either like there's no roadhouse-esque big tough guy that they've been hinting at it's just like the him the rock versus the the, like, the casino <laughs> empire yeah. Slash drug ring. It's actually, I was thinking about it, like, it's very, like, this movie has, like, watching this again, like, right after watching, like, you know, the new Roadhouse, we were, you know, we were talking last week about, like, tonal, like, wild tonal shifts and stuff like that. Like, this, Walking Tall 2004 has similar, like, wild tonal shifts. But I like that. I mean, it starts with that concept, and then you think it's gonna be very tongue-in-cheek just by how like it's intro but as soon as they get to the casino part and it becomes like a horror movie yeah and yeah i, I definitely got roadhouse vibes the way they presented this movie well cause, well it's also too because like you'll get like a i mean you get like a, some sort of like you'll get like a giant knoxville uh who's like, was the co-star of this movie as play, playing like the rock's best friend um and you, you, you'll get you know, some scene where he's like riffing and like doing like comedy stuff and they cut to like your nephew almost died from crystal meth. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. The the giant axle parts are great. Um, it just reminds me of his character also from The Last Stand. Mm-hmm. It's almost the same character. Well, I, I feel like this period, like this, this like the early two thousand period. I feel it was like a kind of. Like, I feel like Hollywood was like doing like an experiment of like, can Johnny Knoxville be a star outside of Jackass? Because he was, he was into like a ton of stuff that wasn't Jackass stuff. Like he was like Men in Black 2 and like Dukes of Hazard and um, this and um, I think I think that, Men in Black 2 was like 2001? 2002 maybe? 2002, yeah. But yeah, he, I mean, but he, he was in like a, a bunch of stuff and he was like the star and it's just like um... Just I guess I guess maybe just be, do go back to Jackass for a while. <laughs> like, well, I think by two thousand four, Jackass was like almost over. I well, think. Jack, Jack, Jackass number two was two thousand six, and then after that, it, it, like for like a, like it's like if you look at Johnny Knoxville's like filmography, it's like he like the last like he was in like The Ringer, and then it was like two thousand six was like Jackass number two, and then after, after that, it's like pretty much all just like Jackass or Nitro Circus until like The Last Stand. And I was like. 2012. Yeah, it was like ten years ago. So, wow. I mean, I, but, I feel but, like he can act. I, I like Johnny Knoxville in this. Yeah, I, I, it, it definitely felt like in like this, like yeah, the early two thousands. They were like, can, like they were like, hey, can we can we make Johnny Knoxville like, like a, like a, a actual like movie star, not like a like this like guy who, like hurts himself <laughs> in Jackass movies. Yeah, they just don't want to cl- like they want him to be more of a serious role even though this is the right move where Jack uh Johnny Knoxville uh, is pretty much doing jackass like stunts for a little bit mm-hmm. but slowly eases into more of the action and more Spencer him. No, but yeah, but yeah, definitely you could definitely tell they just let him like like all of his scenes, they just let him just like go off and just riff. <laughs> like, like I'm sure he was just like improvising everything he was saying. Yeah, and the physical comedy, just like, all right, what, what's my thing? Like, oh, I need to like goof around on this car. Okay. Did you did you get sense too that like the Rock was like like was trying like I feel like this is like one of the first like um like he was trying to be like he had, like you had his first like, so he had the Scorpion King and he had the Rundown. And this one, like, I feel like he was like trying to be like, all right, I'm gonna be like a little more dramatic in this one. Like, this is gonna be like my like first like dramatic gritty role. Oh yeah, um, I got that vibe as soon as he was doing that courtroom speech. Well, well, that plus like, and then like, like he's he's not really like he's not really a jokey character. I mean, he has a couple jokes, but like he's a lot more serious. Like he's a lot more like grounded, I guess. Especially 
coming off the like the movie right before this was the rundown, which is like you know super crazy over the tops, like Peter Berg, like super stylish, like oh, like adventure Indiana Jones, <laughs> and then like this one's just like wow, this is like a crazy like one eighty to like away from that movie. <laughs> I always thought this rundown came out after this, but it, it, no, I, I, I get I, what you mean. Like it's less fun and it's more like oh shit this could happen in my town too i can relate to the rock and it's it's you know it's, it's like the ravages of like crystal meth on like small towns and like the like <laughs> like what happens when like a, a town's industry collapses like yeah it's when the economy is run by basically the same guy that did roadhouse mm -hmm. you could tell me that this is the same universe as roadhouse and it makes sense <laughs> yeah it's like where where is dalton <laughs> They did, they did bring Dalton as like the head of security for that uh the Wild Cherry Casino. Wish the Wild Cherry. We'll talk about that place. It's um. Mm -hmm. Want to get into that or want to finish more well, about the serious well, rock? Well, I was just gonna say I I remember um we, we were you know we were talking about the rundown like I remember because I I love the rundown like it's it's a, like rundown is still awesome, and I remember like going this like the walking I was like oh shit yes next rock movie bring it on and I'm like. This it's okay. It's, it's it's this is good, but it's not as good as like the rundown. <laughs> like, I feel like this is like a, this is definitely like like a a step down for like the rundown where it's like because that that like, there was like that the rundown's like firing on all cylinders, like Christopher Walken and all the action and everything in that movie. <laughs> I I give you that. This is definitely a different version of The Rock. Yes, he's still pretty realistic if. Some military guy came back and trying to like, I don't know, like uh, find a new path in life and all that. Like, it's good, uh, but yeah, rundown is more intensity and like escalation. This has a lot of moment pauses, and then it's yeah. like you could feel when the music changes, and that's when the rocks and say some sort of like, you know, yeah, dramatic was, beat. There's, there's there's scenes where it's like I need to, I I need to show off my acting chops. I need to have like these like dramatics like just or, or not, not even dramatic, just like non action just like acting scenes with like characters to, like just like doing dialogue with other characters. I mean, it's fine when him and his family because he's trying to understand his nephew. That's where it really starts coming out too. Uh, when he has like a heart to heart to his like ex girlfriend and all that. Yeah, that gets up there. You know, one thing, one thing I did appreciate though, too, like going back to this after, like you know, like, like re recent rock movies, is like I appreciate this one had like a little bit of like some grit to it with like you know the drugs and like the rock getting fucked up and like um, yeah, yeah, because like because like current like current rock is like so sterilized and like family friendly. It's like you know it's all Disney movies or like whatever. Like he's he's very like playing it safe currently, and it's it's fun to go back and see like oh man yeah like, this is like had a, had some like you know some some grit, some, like, uh, some rough edges on it. Well, I do like in this one, they didn't work in wrestling moves yet. <laughs> yeah. It's one one of the few rock movies where he doesn't try to do some sort of, like, people's elbow. I mean, that was, that was like, that was, like, the first thing in, like, the rundown and, in, in, like, the awesome, like, opening, like, club fight. He, does, he basically does, like, like, a rock bottom to, like, a guy. Yep. Oh, it was also this movie before Dune... Doom, Doom was the next year. So next, the year after this was okay. be, the year after this was Be Cool and Doom. Wow. All right. So yeah. So with Doom and then this, like, it's like out of order for me. Like, <laughs> if you had to show the escalation of the Rock, yeah, you would say this. This definitely is more. It feels, it feels, it feels like early. It feels, it feels, it feels like this should be the first one. Like this feels like yeah. the earliest one. Like, it's like introducing the Rock as this because. There are some times where this feels just like a WWE movie, mm -hmm. and they just want to highlight like the acting roles and then the almost like budgeted things. So that's why there's a lot of like downbeat scenes where you see The Rock just hang out at home or like fixing a porch, you know, like very <laughs> yep. basic things um, that don't really push anything in the story but just to show that the rock is just like fed up with waiting mm -hmm. uh yeah the the heart to heart moments it's like it's like breaked in it's like okay you got that part with like him and his family him and his sister which i i don't think like <laughs> i think the sister tried to act like that 
actress was just going to be the girlfriend role. They're like, all right, let's just like, change it. <laughs> yeah. There is weird tension between them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you get the girlfriend, which not bad, like fun introduction. Well, that's at the, it's at, at the casino, which you, like we were talking about. Like, let's let's, let's, let's like jump into yeah, like, like the casino. The casino scene. It takes a while to get to the casino. Well, yeah. So so like yeah. The, so the Rock comes home, and then um he finds out the mill's closed, and there's a casino. But then he gets he gets back with like he meets all his old friends, and they have like there's like the Top Gun style like football game they play. Where it's like yeah, hey, it's, it's, a, it's, our, it's, it's our weekly it's our weekly football game, and, and it's like a montage of like Red Hot Chili Peppers and. Yeah, it's, it's, I totally forgot what the soundtrack was like for this movie, so I was surprised to hear a Red Hot Chili Pepper song in there. Yeah. it's a, Even it's, though that's not, it's like Portland that they're in, not like California. <laughs> yeah, they're in, they're in like, uh, like Washington, it's like, it's like Pacific Northwest, they're in like Washington somewhere. They're right next to like, um, the Pine Shack, like mm. the Mystery Shack. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And then that football game is like the first indication of like you know like uh, that like Neil McDonough's like he has like nefarious nature even though it's like it's like he's like go for the knees knees bad like <laughs> I, I want to win at any cost. But then he's like, oh man, yeah, that was a fun game. Hey, yeah, should come 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 to the casino. It's on me. Like, well, you'll, you'll have like you know free drinks or whatever. So yeah, so then the so the Rock Giant Knoxville and all his friends who. Disappear shortly after the scene. <laughs> like, when it, after what happens to the rock, they, like, all those guys are just like, "Well, this is too much for us. We're out." Like, but yeah, this this casino. I mean, I don't. You, I think you, you go to more casinos than me, Chris. Like, have you ever seen like a casino? It's like also like a strip club. No, like especially not like this. Um, yeah, like Vegas doesn't even have like a strip club casino. I think it's just like. It's like there, there's two separate things. It's like it's yeah. a, you're a strip club or you're a casino. You're not both. <laughs> like it's because like liquor licenses are weird. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of places in America can't be uh like a casino, strip club, liquor. Like like I've been to places where if you want to go like to see like they'll have dancing ladies, which is fine. Like I feel like a lot of the other parts of the main building is fine mm-hmm. but then it's like oh in our back room vip jerk off room like <laughs> what is the, this the, with like with like the uh like doll like it's like a, a dollar like arcade feeder it's like you feed you're feeding dollars into like this like like a, it's like an arcade machine yeah yeah like that's not that's, if i see that in a place i'm like this isn't high class like this is <laughs> weird no let alone what they sit in is like a leather lounge chair from ikea and mm-hmm. like you're not the first guy to sit in that or and 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 who knows what they've what the guys before you have done in that chair too. Yeah, I mean that that town is Roadhouse Town again. So these people are just fighting. Any excuse to fight and then drink and then do something crazy. And but that's the thing they moved off beyond drinking. Now everyone's got meth problem. Yeah. Well, there's also so, I mean, there's also like it's like the the, the the shower towers where it's like it's like a carnival game, but you're like you're like hitting like these like it's like the the hammer smash game, but you're like smashing it so that, like girls like rise to the, the ceiling and get like sh- like wet t-shirt showers on. That is all sorts of OSHA violations. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you that. Like, 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 it's just like okay, like, like an open like shower like head just like like go flowing into like the middle of a casino. In the middle of a casino with girls who are not secure to a moving elevator. No, that yeah, is like and, and they're not. Like, like it's like two stories up, three stories up. Like they're going pretty high in that casino. Like they're like to the ceiling of this casino. Two story, at least two story. Then yeah. it's operated by how fast you smash the paddle. Yeah. You know, like it, it's very bizarre. I I don't know if that's real or that was like a thing. No. That, you know, or they just totally built it. I don't think you anything. This, I don't think anything. This, any of this movie is like tied to anything real. Like we'll get to the courtroom scene too. Like it's most, it's like the most ridiculous courtroom scene in movie history. Yeah, uh, speaking of, like, ridiculous, like, this movie is a span of, like, six months. Oh, that, that, I was going to talk about that, too. Like, so it's like, there's no sense of, like, how long things are ha- like take to, take to happen in this movie. Because <laughs> pe- people will talk about things where, like, it, like, it just happened, but then, like, you get to also get the sense, like, later on, where it's, like, months between what happened. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like some some scenes are 
like vignettes of things that are, happened in the past or going well, to happen. Well, there's like there's like several montages. <laughs> there's montages that like are like trying to like sh- like show the passage of time, and it's like how how long is this? Is this weeks? Is this days? Is this months? Like. You know, if they really wanted to speed up the movie and really focus in the middle, where the part where at some point Dwayne the Rock becomes a cop, like, yeah. start with a casino scene. Start with, like, an introduction where he shows up and he's like, hey, man, it's good to be home. Just hang on my friends. Oh, our old friend runs the casino, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, then go from there. But they really have to show you the the town and the drug use, then mm. the... the uh, like, the, like every every store in the town is like either like it's like a porn store or like a like a cash checking pawn shop kind of thing. And all the actual all the actual stores, like the hardware store, or like the supermarket, are all closed. So it's it's like, it's like this like apocalyptic. It's like the like everything everything that was like good about this town is like closed and gone and now it's just like like meth addicts and like cash checking stores and like porn shops and then like the weird casino slash ship club <laughs> which uh, you know going back to the casino um we get we get the scene we get the scene which I think it's there's a similar scene in the original like the like the 73 movie as well where like um the, the rock see like one of his friends is like playing craps and then the rock using i guess using his like special forces skills <laughs> sees is able to see like the, the like the uh the dealer squish the dice with lower dice he, he can sense um like i don't know like illegal moves in 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 dice moving maybe that's like a special force training yeah where it's like, well he, he see he, he gets he, the trick dice yeah he, he sees like the sleight of hand they the guy uses and then his friend loses but then the rock's like oh i'm gonna bet give me i'm gonna bet like give me all your money i'm gonna bet on seven because it's come up seven and he makes it makes a whole scene um and then but then he gets into a fight with all the security guys and then they basically then they they, they they just like take him down and then they like basically like like robert de niro casino him and drag drag him into the back room and this is Kevin Durant. This is where Kevin Durant like shows off his like 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 his like sadistic like villain side, where he's just like, "I'm gonna cut this guy with a box knife." Like, well, it, it, it he says like special forces means special treatment. Yeah, and it's no like, one stops him. It's, well, well, the, it's the, something the, crazy in that town. Well, it's the crazy thing is like one of the guys is like, "Hey, this guy is friends with our boss." He's like, hey, "This guy knows Jay," or like, he's just like, and, it, and Kevin Durant played football with the Rock like fucking like what two hours ago. All and, like, of them did. They all did, and then he's just like, I'm, I, "Well, I played football with this guy. I, I know this. I, I know this is my, like my boss's friend." But I'm like, like, le- like, cut him to to the point where he's like almost left for dead. Like, and the the zanier thing is that. They they drop him off at the edge of town. Yep. And then he gets found by a trucker who I I then it's like I guess he's barely alive or he's just really messed up. Yeah, the doctor says they basically left him for dead. And then if if if, if he wasn't the Rock, he would have been dead because gotcha. like, he's the Rock. Like so, he, like he survived, but someone else wouldn't have survived. So they weren't even gonna like fuck him up. They were trying to kill him basically. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And then. No one investigates it. Not well, even the next town over. Not even the state. Just whatever. Well, because the, sh- the sheriff is like, you know, totally like we learned pretty quickly. He's like totally in the pocket of Neil McDonough, and is like a loser <laughs> who just like is like, and then um is like, well, the casino did an internal investigation, so like we're we're good. Like <laughs> I- I'm not gonna do. It. We're not gonna do anything. <laughs> Which, it's another like fantasy town where you complain to the police and they're like, nope, and then that's it. Like, there's no, yeah, any follow up or any kind of like, hey, this hospital has a record of finding this man like this. Like, we should probably submit it to something. Just like, nope. Well, that well, that's that's one of the crazy like time uh, frame things that we were talking about, where it's you have a you have a montage of like you know the rock recovering after like he, like recovering from his injuries, and then which that is that weeks is that months we don't know. But then after that, he goes to the police station. He's like, "Hey, I want to press charges." And it's like, and then the sheriff's like, "Oh, that thing that happened like months ago at the casino." And it's like, "Well, we're not gonna do anything." And then that's, and then, uh, 
I think that like, pretty much immediately after that, like the rock, the, the rock is like, "Hey, your your nephew almost died from crystal meth." <laughs> like, yeah, that and that's what kind of drives uh, the rock to kind of do something. Yeah, because because he finds out like that the guys at the, at the guys at the casino are selling crystal meth, and there's also like we find out later there's like a like a they have like a full like meth lab somewhere in town that the rock is to find. But yeah, the, the, this is when you get, when you get like the like the big. Uh, he drives to the casino. He pulls out two. Like he, at first, he's gonna go in with a shotgun. He's like, he's like, all right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like kill anybody. I'm just gonna go. I'm my... going a shooting spree. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'll grab, I'll grab one of these two by fours in the back of my truck, and then use that to just like smash guys' arms to pieces and like smash the casino. <laughs> Smart we... move. I mean, even everyone, even his dad's like, don't use the gun. Like, yeah, you're gonna get. You're gonna be like. Even if you're in the right, you're gonna be super like in the wrong. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He, he, he like you know like in like Con Air where they're like like the Nicholas Cage defends himself from like guys like literally gonna stab him to death, and then, like the judge is like, "You're because you're a trained soldier, you're a lethal weapon. Your 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 hands are lethal weapons, so that you're getting like the maximum sentence." It's like an army ranger has a. Like a two by four, like hacksaw Jim Duggan style, is like going to like smashing guys' arms to pieces. And uh, but yeah, so, so yeah, he, he tears through the guy, like tears through the casino, causes a bunch of ra- like damage, and then but then he gets arrested, and, and then we get the like one of the most unrealistic court scenes in the movie history, <laughs> where it's like every single person that works in the casino is like testifying against the Rock and saying he's like a crazy monster, and then his lawyer's not doing anything. Cause I, cause I think the, the idea is like the, the lawyer is also on like the McDonald's payroll, like literally like, every person, like the McDonald's like bribing every single person in town, like a, like owns every single person in town. So like the Rock fires him, and then he then he then he gives like this like huge like like election speech basically, <laughs> where and then it's like no one's stopping him. That's it's like not this how you like you know try a case or like like, like present your case. But he's, but he's like basically like is like giving this like whole like I grew up in this town we gotta make this town great again like all the regular townsfolk though they understand that yeah they are un- in a like a town of corruption mm-hmm. so that makes sense that as soon as you can get like a public elected official that I guess Neil McDonough hasn't had his fingers on yet it's easy. But, but it's kind of, but it's kind of it's kind of it's, I mean if you think about it I mean. The Rock was in the wrong because he just stormed into a seat, like a casino, and started smashing things and beating guys down. <laughs> like, unprov- like I mean, he was provoked, but like to everyone, like you could you could argue it was unprovoked because he just like started just like drove up there and started smashing everything. But then, but then the jury's like, "Well, I, li- I like his speech, so we're gonna, get, we're gonna make him not guilty." <laughs> we're gonna forget the basic rules of breaking and entering. Yeah, it wasn't even a casino. I well, I think it was still open, right? I, I think. So he but, just but walked. It, but it was it was like noon, so it was like there's like no one there basically. <laughs> like he was, comes in, it was like like literally no one's there. But it, yeah, it was, I think it was it was definitely it was still open because there's like a waitress was there and stuff. But it was like the middle of the day, so no one's like I guess no one's there in the middle, like the, in like in the afternoon or the morning. It would have been a whole different time if uh, he showed up at night and it was crowded and he yeah. threw this two before into that dumb shower thing mm-hmm. then the rock has to be like oh yeah uh i was angry i didn't mean to do all that <laughs> yeah i i have ptsd <laughs> he's actually pretty calm without it mm-hmm. it was more like he was anti-killing until it was like that's it yeah time for the killing to come back kind, kind, kind of kind of like a th- i guess a th- kind of throw back to like the rundown where you like refuse to use guns until the end to the end so you he uses basically <laughs> Double two, 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 sh- two shotguns at the same time, yeah. But yeah, because because of his speech, uh, he he gets elected. He, he now he's elected sheriff. He fires every all the other cops. He gets he gets Johnny Knoxville to be his deputy, and then they go on like a a two man war on uh, drugs. And I'm surprised they didn't try to go after Johnny Knoxville. Like after after being a deputy, yeah, yeah. They really just went after the Rock. Mm-hmm. In a typical like eighties movie, Johnny Knoxville would have been dead. 
he's like too good of a guy. He's like likable, and then yeah. that just puts like an X on your back. Right, right, like, right, right before like the final fight, like they were like he would have got killed, or like they would have killed him, and then the Rock is like, Ugh, now it's it's personal. Now it's like <laughs> revenge. Like yeah, yeah, I will I, avenge I, you. I hated that guy, but now I really hate him. Mm-hmm. Uh, or or the Rock would have discovered Giant Oxbow's body somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yep, and then that would have done it. They would have like make it look like make it look like he like overdosed on crystal meth or something. <laughs> but uh, no, but, well, but you... the the movie actually points out that Giant Axel like got sober. He's actually yes. like, a good guy. Yep, mm-hmm. I like his character. He has a lot of like yep. growth for just the brief things in him. Yeah, like he he know like he knows he fucked up earlier in his life, but now he's trying to like like yo be better and like. But it, but he, he still has like his like sense of humor. Yep. And then there's a, there's another montage where it's like the like it's like the drug takedown montage where they're like dr- going around town like trying to, like which it's like they don't it doesn't seem like they do like that much they they find they like arrest like a couple like users or tweakers and they find like one guy supplying them and they, then they get to like Kevin Durant who's like one dealer. <laughs> And then um, they they find like a like a burrito size like thing of like I guess meth or heroin or something in his <laughs> in his leg. And then we get, and then we get we get like the the pretty fun scene where like they tear apart his car like truck which is like like one of the like the like the big like that's that, that's like the giant Knoxville like like humor showcase where it's just, like he's constantly just like like playing with like steering wheels and, like like doing like one liners and like like making fun of Kevin Durand. Yeah. Who I you know like the the richest man in this town is just gonna buy another truck. Like, don't sweat over it. And I guess yeah. that was his mindset. He's just like, whatever. Like, we just buy more. Oh, which speaking of which, I we read. I want to mention like so. There's right after the rock is uh, elected sheriff. Like, there's a scene where like he he pulls over Neil McDonough. And he's like, and basically they have like they're like, well, I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm coming after you. And and then like McDonough's like, well, you better watch out because I'm coming after you. And then. We get the there's a crazy like the like silent Kobe Smolders ca- like cameo. I I wait so I didn't know that was her because I was like yeah. that looks awfully like her. Yes, she she has to be like twenty in that scene. I th- I, mean, I think this is like literally the year before how how you mentioned started. So it's like no like like, like a year a year later she'd be like co starring in like uh, this like huge CBS sitcom like what one year, how, one, how, one, year really? one year before she's a silent like. Girlfriend of Neil McDonough in the Rocky Tall. Wait, was it 2005? Yeah, was yeah, when? yep. Mm-hmm. I remember Septem- it was the- September 2005 is when How Did I Met Your Mother started. So holy shit, it, it, it's it's nuts. It's like <laughs> like a year later, she would be like 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 one of the most recognizable people on TV. It's just like Wait, it's like I I barely could recognize her in the car. Yeah. She's like she plays exotic beauty. That's her, her credit in the movie. Yeah, no offense to Colby. It's like she's not. Yeah, that I, exotic. I would I would say like like sun, sunglasses woman or something would be a better credit or like or just like car, car, car lady car girlfriend or, like friend or yeah car date yeah exotic woman. No, offense. she's not like mix of like multicultural or something. And, yeah, you know, she's not wearing like any headdress. Mm-hmm. It's like she's Canadian. That's exotic. I know. It's like uh, I mean, technically, this movie's filmed in Canada. Or yeah, or like Canada adjacent. Like, like you drive like an hour and you're in Canada. Yep. You just cross over late by accident, and oh, somehow, and you're in Toronto. But yeah, that 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 Neil McDonough like the Colby Smolder scene is like the last time The Rock uses like because there's this whole thing where. He uses the two by four. The two by four is like used for evidence in court, and then he takes it. Like when he gets like acquitted, he takes the like two by four back and is like, "This is mine." And then he turns it into a club. But then the only time he uses the club is to smash Neil McDonough's like head, like tail lights, and basically like tail lights out, <laughs> get them fixed. And then he never uses that club again. Yeah, which I, I guess I guess they had to like they had to do some sort of like acknowledgement of like. Buford Pusser used like these like hickory cl- clubs in his like vigilante crime fighting, but 
<laughs> so it's like, well, we gotta have a club, but then they, they, they couldn't figure out any way to use it, or they didn't want to use it for the rest of the movie. Because, because like the rocket, he 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 basically reverts to like shotguns and his fists for the rest of the movie. Which not bad. When it gets to like the the time to get serious parts. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which is like when after they after they sh- they strip down like Kevin Durant's truck and they don't find anything, he's locked up in jail, and but then the Rock thinks that uh, Neil McDonough is gonna, is gonna send guys to like after him and his family, so then he sends Johnny Knoxville to go protect his family, and then he's gonna stay at the jail with Kevin Durant and guard him, and then. That's that's when like Ashley Scott shows up and is like, "Hey, I made you dinner," and also let's fuck in the police station, <laughs> like right awesome. next, to, right, right next to like where Kevin Durant is like, like staying in his cell, which that had to be super awkward for him, like just like that is I'm, sure, I'm sure he had, I'm sure you could hear that through the window. It wasn't like a, <laughs> I'm sure it was like very thick walls in the police station. No, so I I totally forgot that um, Ashley Scott was in Birds of Prey. Hmm. Well, I didn't I didn't realize when I, I was looking I was looking up what she was doing for like before we. Because she's obviously in this movie, and then it's like I didn't I didn't know she was like Maria in The Last of Us. Yeah, that which part like, was cool. Which is like one of the most recent things she's done. Which it's it's cool she's still doing like stuff, and that's it's a, it's a really awesome thing to be in. So, <laughs> it's also funny that she was in. I think she was also kind of like the girlfriend love interest in like Twelve Rounds, which is like you know a John Cena like another like wrestler movie. <laughs> That came and out, like, she was also the like a love interest girl in SWAT. Mm-hmm. So she was just in movies as, as like the attractive female, but it, this one she does a little bit more ish, sorta. Yeah, she gets to like help help out a little bit in the like the big like shootout at the police station. That's not even the final scene. Like that's her. No, no. three scenes in this movie. I think. Yeah. And one of them is the super awkward, like, stri- strip tease scene. Where it's like, she's like, a, she's a sexy firefighter. I'm for that. That's fine. But yeah, there's there's two, there's two huge shootouts. There's like a shootout at the police station, and there's a shootout at like the, the Vaughn family house. Which, the, the one, the, fa- the Vaughn house is like, it has like, this like really weird, like comedic, like, thing to it where it's like Johnny Knoxville like is like trying to defend the house and then he is shot in the leg and then he and the, one of the guys have like this like really like crazy like they're just like jumping all, like launching it like di- diving behind stuff like shooting shotguns at each other and missing constantly and there's like uh like hoedown music playing yeah that's the movie kind of gets to like a silly level again again it has moments where it's super serious a home invasion just happened and then it's just funny music yeah, well, even even within that scene, it changes because like, yeah, all the giant axe stuff is like wacky. Like he's like stabbing us with like potato peelers and like the, there's the whole like yeah, this like shot super close range shotgun thing where they're gonna hit each other and like diving around the, the entire house. But then it ends with like the rock's dead, like shooting a guy in cold blood and, or like shooting a guy and it's like it's like super serious. It's like I've never I had, I had to kill a man like to defend my family. I, I didn't I, I never had to do that like so that's how that scene ends. But it, I. Everything lead up to that was like a wacky, like Johnny Knoxville, like action sequence. True, true. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess the fa- the family was like anti gun, but then, uh, so the dad was like, "Oh, I, I, we kept like the Rock was like, I thought we we're gonna get rid of this shotgun," and the dad's like, "Ah, we'll see what happens." Like it was such a check off gun. Then, and I think, and I think he like there's part, parts too where like the dad is like, "Why well, I, I didn't really agree with like, your career choice. I didn't think you should should have gone to the army." But yeah, so the dad is weird. I thought is he pro guns but anti army. Yeah. And he knew that the Rock was kind of affected by the war he was in. Which so then he's like, yeah, I want you to also like uh, maintain the shotgun. That would help you. Mm-hmm. And then at the police station, like, I, I, I I'm assuming like like Neil McDonough bought it for them, but like. The like, because it's it's the sheriff, it's the former sheriff, and all the all the like fire deputies show up, and they're like, but they have like military. Wait, all those are former deputies. 
I think, or or just like dudes that like the like Michael Bowen, the the sheriff, like found. It's like, hey, go, come with me, like, like kill the new sheriff. Like, I think that's what it was. I think it was just the former deputy and then a bunch of mercenaries because for a, a lot of those guys, they are terrible shots for yes. cop enforcements. Well, I was gonna say, that, but the, the, like I, I'm assuming, like like you know, like must have bought their guns for them because it's like they have like military grade like giant machine guns. Yeah, they have machine saws, the the yeah. ones that you mount yes. on a Humvee or something. Like fifty cals and like yeah, that's yeah. like it's, it... <laughs> the fact it's like, that they're not just shooting into the air and being pushed back is already like a thing. And then like these bullets are armor piercing and go through the wall, like they're going through the building. Yeah. So they're not just some pop shotting it, uh, but yeah, that's why I was surprised. I didn't mind because the deputy was an asshole. Like his true colors was still with Neil McDonough's casino yeah, yeah. tourism. Yep. Uh, but it seems like the whole town should have done that where they like rebelled as soon as the <laughs> sheriff was in danger. The town, like. Rock's friends and other people should have just all yeah, his, came to the that's rescue. What, that's what I said earlier. Like, like all of his other like football friends just disappeared. They're just like, we don't want to. We're not any part of this. Like, like where are those guys? Like, make 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 all of them deputies. Like, yeah, but I guess some of them can't. Like, just because they're yeah. either out of shape. I guess yeah. out of the bunch, only Johnny Knoxville was ready, like prepared to be a sheriff. Well, he didn't even want to be a sheriff. Like, he's, he's, he's like, I hate cops. Like. But then that makes him the best sheriff of them all, like the yeah. best deputy. Mm-hmm. The one who doesn't want it is the best. Yeah. And there's some, there's some cool like rock tactics where like he he like he's like hiding underneath the building, and then like he like pops out and like shoots the sheriff at, the, at like the old sheriff after like tricking him. <laughs> and he's like and he's like shooting guys through like the, like the like the foundation, and when they try to like come into like the the police station. Yeah, the uh, um, does the also the sheriff place not have weapons? Yeah, you would think they would have like you know machine guns or like some sort of arsenal, but like it's like he has like a pistol and a shotgun. That's all he has. <laughs> or like you know, like sm- like smoke grenades or like fl- flashbangs. No, it's not mil- like, it, I get why the town is just the police stations are terrible it is, underfunded. It is, it is, it is like it's, it's, it's a small town like that. Like lost its like main source of income, so. <laughs> So I get why they just don't have tactical stuff because crime is controlled by that casino. So there's yeah. no outside mob or anything. Because mm-hmm. uh, everyone just loves to go to this town and get drugs and then stare at the water. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which, you know, it's funny. I think all besides the lumber mill set piece, they don't really utilize the woods. Well, I was, gonna say, I, I was gonna say it's the opposite, like because like. If we if we if we get to like the so like after after these like two shootouts like it's we're in like the final showdown, which is at which is at the lumber mill, which you find out that like uh you know Jay Hamilton Neil McDonough turned into which it it was his family's sawmill and he sold it to build the casino, so he basically destroyed the town to make a casino, but then he turned the sawmill into a meth lab. That's where they're they're making all the meth, <laughs> and then you you would think like oh we got this awesome location for this final fight where it's like you get there's there's saws there's all this machinery we could have this like big fight in this like sawmill but then then it just spills out into like the woods and they had to fight yeah. the final fights in the woods and then it's just literally places where sticks are everywhere and yeah that's, like the rock strength it's like oh is this a stick great this is my weapon because because it, it starts out it's like oh you look down it's like he's turning on the machines like the rocks hanging off a saw like we're gonna get some like some crazy like is he gonna throw Neil down into a saw and kill him like or they're, they're like jump around and like dodge like logs and stuff but it's just, like no they, they they fall down a chute and like they're in the woods now and now they're, they're like, outside <laughs> yeah they're throwing each other against trees and then Neil McDonough does have an axe which like he, he like when he gets the axe like he just turns into, like full on like he's is like no jokes no no banter just like I'm gonna fucking murder you with this axe like. Yep. He just gets like so serious and like murderous when he gets that axe. But yeah, they, they have this this yeah you know, this big like knockdown drag out fight in the woods, and then the Rock beats him by like breaking his leg with a like with a, a giant branch. 
which I, which I guess is also like it's another like you know wooden club throwback <laughs> to like the original or like that's uh, you know the the walking tall kind of like club thing. Uh, and almost every version of Walking Tall, even the unfortunate Kevin Sorbo one. <laughs> the, the, the two sequels to this movie. And I think also the Walking Tall TV show that was also like in the 70s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, throwing the club is like a thing. Or throwing the piece of wood. Yeah. P- not only is it, is it not just using it as like a, uh, like a bashing tool, but just hucking it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Which... I, I, I like we you know, we were talking about that like how the ridiculous the, the, the rocks trial was. I, I would I would love to see like the trial for like like convicting Neil McDonough. <laughs> yeah, I want to see like what speech he has to give to tell him to keep him in jail. And also just like like how br- like it's like well I, you know I was I, I went to the table to arrest him and then I sh- I shattered his like femur with a, <laughs> a tree branch after we had this like fight in the woods like. Uh, I mean, I think it was justified. He had an axe. Yeah. They yeah, I, I, he went through like a e- gauntlet equal, of things. E- equal, 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 equal force to yeah. like. <laughs> and Neil McDonough wasn't there to like, like cripple the Rock or do anything. He was there to like murder him. Yeah. But there's also like no witnesses. It's just the Rock. <laughs> the Rock. Yeah, rock in the woods. There are only two people there. You know, there has to be a joke about like wood rock paper like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god if he, if he made some sort of like rock beats wood or something joke <laughs> yeah something like that or what wood beats like if you if, know if, wood if, rock beats like you know wood beats casino you you have to have like Neil like his name would have to be like jay stone or something and it's it like a like a rock based like pun name yeah hamilton is like a regal last name so yeah yeah it should have been like J Marble or or, or he should or he, or he should have made like the Rock should have made some sort of like like casino like like yeah, pun or like, something at the end because it it kind of ties back to the casino at the end where they close the casino but yeah I I thought the set piece could be at the casino the casino and the the lumber mill are like miles apart I think <laughs> well it's weird because like you you see that final scene and like you can see the the sawmill from the casino. Because like they like they, they start, like they like go over. Oh yeah, yeah. They're like, oh they, yeah, it's the operational shot. Gun. Yeah, and it's like they you can hear like the lunch bell. And it's like, hey, let's go pick up dad. He's like, he's back at the sawmill working. Like down the road. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's weird because you're right. The the rock makes it seem like, uh oh, the lumber mill is should be by the forest, but then the casino is also by was, the mountain forest because they. they it's something Johnny Knoxville mentions early in the movie when they go there. He's like, oh, yeah, like, it sort of blends right into the mountain, this needed casino. Like, he points out that the casino looks ugly. It's tacky yeah. in here. Mm-hmm. But considering that the, if you remove the, the like, terrible strip club part about it and the, uh, you know, the, the town drug problem that's coming through the casino, it's just a regular casino. Like, it, it's not a problem these days. Like, maybe well, in these days, but... Back then, that was just like, oh, a den of vice. Because they really should have beat you over the head of, like, this one building is just, like, sin. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's got it's got the weird stripping stuff, like, the weird strippers in there. It's got, like, you, there's a little scene of, like, Kevin Durant's, like, slipping someone drugs. Like, he, but, like... He, but yeah, this but, town isn't just going to be fixed by the one thing. Like, it's going to need oh, yeah. a lot of things to revitalize the business. But I'm surprised this town doesn't have, like, a tourist thing. It's a looks like a beautiful town. Yeah, like some sort of like you know hiking or something or an Airbnb combination, yeah. hike trails, nature. You know, just it, it's so like a town in nature that it's not a regular city, but then they treat it as if it's like another world or another like part of America where you only can get in by boat. And then <laughs> yes, yeah. And then the only thing to do at night is to go to this casino. Mm-hmm. I do. I love like yeah the opening the opening scene where like the rock just like walks for miles. <laughs> so I get I, I get what you mean where we watched Roadhouse the twenty twenty four version, and it's more of that where this guy wanders in and fixes the town. Yep. But mm-hmm. it's grounded in reality because you see like his high school. They mentioned his like leg injury, his yep. uh, his kind of like roots here. 
he like he he was a college football player. He washed out, and then he joined the army. He washed out because of a knee injury. Yeah, which I th- which I think is is isn't that like the rocks like actual like that happened to him? I think so too. Because like he was he, he was in like was he like a like Canadian football player, and then like he got injured, and then it's like oh, I'm a wrestler now, <laughs> like. Or I think I think he didn't he didn't get drafted. I don't think he, he was going to be in the NFL, but he didn't get drafted. And then it's like, oh, I guess I guess I'll be a wrestler now because like I didn't get drafted in the NFL. And yeah, he found his calling. Mm-hmm. Isn't that the same plot as Ballers? <laughs> I think yeah, I think I think there's a lot of like um like true rock stuff in like the Rock's character in, in Ballers, where it's like, oh yeah, I I, I was going to be in the NFL, but I didn't get drafted. Like, or like um. So, yeah, I, I didn't make it to the next round. There's, there's some, so, yeah, a lot of details that, from like the Rock's like football career that are in like the Ballers character. I would have loved that every other movie that the Rock is in is something like that. It's like Scorpion King. He couldn't be <laughs> the football player of that era because of a leg injury, and then yep. in Hobbs, Doom, H- Hobbs was going to be a football player. Hobbs was going to be a football player. <laughs> Well, I mean, a, I mean, a couple of years after, after uh, Walkie Tall, he was in Gridiron Gang, the old, like just straight up football. <laughs> like, yeah. see what I mean? Like, there's a rock pattern to it. But uh, yeah, but yeah, Walkie Tall, it's it's still it's still pretty fun. Like, definitely, I would I would put it like mid mid tier rock, like. He's de- he's definitely had like a lot a lot more be- be- like better movies after this, and um, but I mean this is this is this is the worst. It's not the best. It's like right it's like a very solid middle tier rock yeah. movie. I feel like it's a good introduction to rock action movies. It's a good showcase of like his action prowesses, but not so much his com- comedic side just yet. And then like like I said, it's it's out of war. You see this movie first as your first rock movie. And then you see where it goes from here. Like he doesn't have the eyebrow thing. He does as much. He doesn't do <laughs> flirting well. Which he... I think, which I think a lot of that is in like the rundown, which is the movie that came out before yeah. this. That's yeah. like... So I'm like, it's so weird. It's so like, like the like, like like the rundown is more like The Rock, and then this one's like he's this like The Walking Dead is like he's trying he's like trying to turn into Dwayne Johnson. That's maybe that's what it was too. He wanted to get away from it. Yeah. But I also feel if you knew The Rock from just the movies, this is fine. But if you knew The Rock from wrestling, then this is weirder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's it's a much more subdued Rock. Like he's not like yeah, he's not smack talking. He's not like yeah, he's like, like I said, eyebrow thing. He's not like doing like over top like wrestling moves. Like he's just like trying to be more serious, trying to be more dramatic, <laughs> trying to like be a serious actor. With it, with, but but with it, within like a movie that sells like, like ridiculous scenes. <laughs> yep, yep. But uh, yeah, do, go check it out if you haven't seen it. It's on uh, it's on Max. Uh, if you want, if you want to watch it. Um. And yeah, so I think that'll do us for this week's podcast. Uh, come back next week. We're gonna be talking about the original Mad Max, which is celebrating its uh forty fifth anniversary. And it's also kind of, it kind of also kind of ties into uh, Fallout because Fall, Fallout starting next week on Amazon Prime, and so you know it's apocalyptic. We're, we'll talk about one apocalyptic movie as a another apocalyptic thing starts up. So yeah, come come back for all your uh, for OG Mad Max. We'll dive into like the how weird that is compared to the rest of the series, especially like now that now now that we got like Fury Road and like Fury Road coming up and like watching those compared to uh, the original Mad Max. It's uh, it's very jarring. Not a stylized. Yes, it's it's very it's a it's like a kind of like Evil Dead to eat, like Army of Darkness. <laughs> like, yeah, you can see the, I guess, gritty filmmaking in the original Mad Max. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to talk about it. Yep. Can't wait to watch it and forget about certain scenes again. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so come back next week for that. Uh, check out all the rest of our uh, episodes. We're actually they're on YouTube now. So if you go on YouTube, search for everything in action, you can check out all the previous episodes and actually get commentaries and then all the podcast episodes on there. Uh, head over to the site, check all that stuff out too. Uh, if you head over to the site, we also have I have a review of Godzilla X Kong. If you want to read my review of that movie, 
And we have our PAX East 2024 article up, so you can check out everything we saw and did at PAX East uh, a couple weeks ago in uh, Boston. We have all the games we played, all the stuff we saw, so check that out as well. And, uh, yeah, head out to site for all of our usual features as well. And, uh, yeah, so for Chris, I am Zach, and we will see you next week. For more Everything Action, head to www.everythingaction.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, at EVAction, on Facebook by searching for Everything Action, and follow us on Instagram at everything.action. You can also subscribe and get more episodes on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.